It is Tuesday, 6.13 a.m. We are gonna do a little mobility stretches and I got this microphone that I'm gonna have to go and drop off at the mail to get it serviced. Let's head to my garage. I finally added the shelf and I think it looks sick. Oh yeah. Got gloves, balls, shoes, tees, and just a memorabilia golf bag in like a plastic wrap. I got these downshift bands over here so then I can work out. All I have to do is like attach this, wedge it right on the other side and, and I can do some bands exercises, which is pretty cool. This shelf takes it to the next level. You know, I've been doing a lot of thinking. I'm like, hey, I should probably go to the range. But most of, most of the ranges I go to are off of mats. And it's kind of crazy because I mean, we're still spending like $15 for range balls. And the range balls aren't even that good. And I usually like to practice with a track man a lot. And the balls would kind of mess up the data this would give out. So it's actually pretty nice to practice in here and play with, and practice with, with Pro V's instead of going to the range and practicing with these hard golf balls that you know, will only confuse the data on the track, man. Yes, the mat in the, the mat on the range might be a little higher quality than mine. However, I do want to upgrade the mat pretty soon just because I don't think it's a good way for me to practice off of this mat long term. And it's because it's very thin. So there's not much absorption for impact on the ground. So I'm basically hitting off of concrete. But I did some research off of a high quality mat to hit out of. And those things aren't cheap. They're really expensive. But the real good part is, I'm actually trying to shallow out my swing. Because I'm working on getting the attack angle shallow, then I'm kind of just picking it clean off of this mat. I think another good part for the mat being as thin as it is, is that I get direct feedback if I'm going too steep. So one thing I noticed is I feel like I'm not getting off enough. Not nearly en enough as I would like. I think I know a perfect exercise for this. I'll actually use one of these bands back here. So what I basically want to feel right now is kind of exploding from squat. So I'm gonna do a medium and a light combined. Just like that. What I'm trying to do is feel more explosive, right? So I'm gonna do a squat initially and then come out of the squat and push. I keep forgetting the squat, so I'm gonna to have to go down, up, down, up. I usually like to do 10 reps so let's do this. We're gonna go down and up. Down. Ten reps each side, three sets, and we're not gonna to forget to do the other side, just so we're we're really balanced and centered. Otherwise, you don't want to develop just one part of your body. And now let's try to take it to the swing. So here's the move. We're gonna go back. Squat. So I actually want to feel like before I even finish my backswing, my weight, my pressure is already starting to go over here. So go boom, back, 
and that's where the squat feel comes from and now we just have to get out of that right okay a couple more times that felt way better i was kind of getting stuck a while ago i was just staying down and turning i need to kind of get out of that so that'll actually help me be more shallow so there we go Sounded solid. Back, boom. Back, boom. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. That concludes today's practice. If there's anything you want to see, please comment down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and take care.